Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to automate Excel using Python. There is multiple package which allows you to read and write Excel file using Python. Most popular ones are OpenPy Excel and Excel SX Writer. One limitation of these packages are they don't allow us to work with Excel interactively. To avoid these limitations, we are going to use third party package called Excel Wings. Also, keep in mind that Excel Wings has tons of functionality. We are going to just focus on reading and writing data from Excel file here. So let's get started. First thing we are going to do is create new folder for our project. Creating new Excel file for testing. Let's name it test and just enter hello on a1 cell now just open this folder using visual studio code if you are using python for the first time then watch my python tutorial first link in the description now we are creating new python file to read cell value from excel importing excel wings and it's not working First thing we need to do is install Excel Wing packages using pip. Just use pip install Excel Wings to install Excel Wing package and installation is successful. Now we should be able to import our Excel Wings package. In this script we are trying to read value from Excel cell. Before this just have a look at this Excel object model. So at top there is Excel app which may contain multiple Excel files. Each Excel file contains multiple sheets and each sheet contains your data in form of cells, range, name range and table. This hierarchy is how we get access to each object. You have to go from top to bottom. So we can divide this code into three parts. First get workbook, second get worksheet and last part will be get cell value. Name of our Excel worksheet is test. So I am just calling this test underscore workbook. So there is multiple way to do this part. We are going through each option one by one. We can get access to file using file part. Let's try to run this first to see it's not throwing any error. And it's good so far. Second way to do the same thing is using file name. We don't need to provide full file part here because our Excel file and Python are in the same folder. So when you run this code, Python will automatically find this test file in our script folder. Running our script and it's working fine. Third and my favorite method is to just use active Excel file. This way we don't have to specify our Excel file name or file part. Running our script and it's working fine. Now in next step we are going to get access to our sheet. Changing sheet name to main for better understanding. Let's call this main underscore worksheet and we can get it from our test workbook using the name of our sheet. Now using this main worksheet object we can get access to any cell using cell address. Running this code again and hello is printed on terminal. Let's do few minor improvements to our code. First thing I want to add is type hints. I don't know about you but I just feel uncomfortable with dynamic type allocation. This should also help with Visual Studio IntelliSense. Let's run it again and it's working. We can also use active property to get access to our main sheet. 
let's run it again and it's working I prefer this first option for this project For cell value, we can also access it using cell index. First input is for row ID and second one is for column ID. And it start from 0. So A1 cell will be 00, zero A2 cell will be 10, etc. Let's run it again and it's working. Now I am adding name range to our Excel file. So just like cell, we can access to name range using its name. Running this code again and we can see value of concrete grid here. Benefit of using name range is that we don't have to provide our cell address. So we can move this anywhere on this sheet and this code will keep working. Just using integer for concrete grid. And it's working perfectly. In next section, we will get data from actual range or table. First, Let's create sample data first. Creating new script for this. Let's copy some part from our previous script. Just like single cell, we can get access to range using its address. To print data from this range, we are going to use two for loops. One loop is for row and second one is for column. We are printing value using data range cell address. Running this script again and we can see all the values from our beam table. Now let's create excel table from this data. Naming it beam table. And we can get access to this table by using worksheet table object. Benefit of using excel table compared to range is that we don't have to specify range address in our code. Let's print our table range first. And it's correct. If we only need data, then we can use data range property. For printing table values, we can use same code as a range. And it's working. Let me add one more column to our table. Running this script again and we can see area values here. So 
this is one benefit of using excel tables we can just add as many rows or column in the table without changing our script now to write data to excel let's create new script Also keeping excel side by side here so we can see changes in real time. To change cell value we can use cell address. Running this script again and it's updated. We can also add formula to our cell using formula property. We can also access our cell using cell index. For range and table, let's create new script. Again, we are going to use same code here. Only change is that instead of printing value, we are changing values. And it's working. Now let's do same thing for our table. and that's also working fine but it didn't work for our header row this happened because excel table don't allow duplicate names for columns so it's automatically giving new names here Let's only update data rows instead of entire table. So using Excel wings, you can read input data from Excel, perform whatever calculation you want to do with that and print that results back to your Excel file. So this is it for this video. Hope you will make good use of this tutorial. Bye.